up people on YouTube, this is Catfine Jedi and it is getting cold. I can tell it's getting cold because now I'm wearing pants. Whoa! For those of you who don't know, or are also not from Miami, I don't know, maybe this is not just a Miami thing, I don't like to wear pants when I sleep. In fact, I'm a kind of panties and t-shirt type of girl. But, as the weather is getting slightly nippish, had to switch to, well, not really pants, pants-ish, pantaloons, pajama bottoms. Um, yeah, so that's it. What can I tell you? Hmm, I'm trying to think of recent updates on my life. I'm being stalked by a small cat. Here's a clip of him. Hey, puppy. Meow. Yeah, I don't know where he came from. But he decides to come around every day, and he waits by my door, and no, I don't feed him. He just likes to come inside and sleep on my bed. There is a creature on my lap. Oh my god. Yes, Bob, it's you. It's okay. See that? Just likes to sleep on my bed and eat animal crackers. Stop eating my animal crackers! No! Not your crackers! Animal crackers! What the hell's up with that? Anyway. Besides that... Hmm. Tomorrow's my school's open house and... Parents are always delightful. Now, they're not that bad. But, you know, it's... Kids get weird around their parents. So... What did I do recently? I guess this past weekend I was hanging out with Marley. And he had this funny moment. <laughs> what are you doing? Besides that, I noticed that Marley has the same facial expression pretty much 24-7. I've been taking pictures of him for months. And it seems like he always has this half-smile all the time. It's funny because I literally can count the amount of times I've gotten the guy to laugh laugh. And just like, huh. <laughs> I mean, laugh. I can still count how many times that is. Probably within one hand. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the city I live in sucks major cojones. I don't know. Well, I know why I moved here. I moved here for the wrong reasons, a.k.a. an ex-boyfriend who was at the time my boyfriend. And I left Tokyo, which I regret doing because even though Tokyo is expensive, the utilities were actually way cheaper in my old apartment than it is here. And my health insurance was cheaper, too. So, it was actually cheaper to live in Tokyo. And, now it's about the same. And I get paid less. Yay. Uh, I am going to answer some shit in the inbox. I know, I still haven't gotten to it. And, uh, I guess that's about it for now. I guess I'll leave you with a small, adorable anecdote. So, there's a little girl in one of my classes. She's not in my regular class. She's in the toddler class. About three years old, and we're just going to call her... Susie. Anyway, Susie's Japanese. But she, her mom is like a very good English speaker and basically spoke to her in English pretty much up until she was about two years old. Anyway, this girl never ceases to amaze me though with her adorableness. As she's on this little, I guess you can call it like a, a horse. It's like a springy horse. And she's just riding the little horse going back and forth. <laughs> And I'm like, Susie, what's that? She says, it's a horse. And then I go, are you a horse? And in this little cutesy face, she turns up at me and says, no, I'm a little cowgirl. And I'm like, ugh, stabbed by cuteness right in the heart. Ah, underwear, crap. I gotta make sure I don't pan the camera that way. Yes, I do have to dry my panties inside. It's the joy of living in Japan. On the first floor. Warning to you ladies, don't dry your underwear outside. Um, man, I'm sorry this is a slow video, but... Nothing much going on. I'm still planning my trip. Oh, yes! One thing I wanted to mention. So, I gave notice to my job, and I am planning on leaving Japan at the end of March. 
And I'm going to go back home and I'm taking an LSAT prep course because I am actually going to go to law school. I know, crazy, right? But I, I actually thought about it and this is what I want to do. It's not an influence outside of me. This is my decision. And I'm not exactly closing the door on Japan, you know. I might come back. But it might be a couple of years from now. Anyway, so, for other J vloggers who watch my vids, what to place some places in Japan I should definitely see before I leave. So, leave me a comment and let me know. Bye-bye.